Hello everyone! As you can see by the title of this video and clicking on it, this is my 5k Q&A and voice reveal video. And before I start this, I just wanted to say thank you so much for 5k. It's amazing. I love you all so much and I'm extremely thankful for everything. And um, I also have this gameplay just kind of going on in the background so you're not getting bored um so enjoy that too and um i'll just start the q a now so the next question is how old are you um i am 14 i um i don't turn 15 until september so it's kind of kind of far away but um 14 right now turn 15 the end ish of this year so um, yeah the next question is, when did you start playing MM2? So, there's like, I don't really know how to explain it, but kind of like a backstory of when I started playing it, because my account, this account that I am currently using, it was made in 2020 of May, and I didn't start playing MM2 on this account until about a month or two after I made this account, because I... Had, I had a few accounts before I started playing in like 2015 and I had multiple accounts all the way up until like 2017 and then I quit Roblox because everyone got like made fun of for it and stuff so I quit and then I came back in the early of 2020 I made an account then and I lost that account but I made another account in May of 2020 and then that is when I found Murder Mystery 2 and I started playing it so the next question is, are you good at cat? Um, I have played cat a few times, but I, I'm not really good at it. I actually, I, last time I played it, I was, I was pretty proud. I made a whole bunch of good shots, but I don't, like, play it on the normal. I barely ever play it, but I only play it if, like, my friends want to or something. So I guess I would say I'm pretty average at that game. Not really good, but not bad because it's kind of like mm2 but yeah also if you hear stuff in the background that is just my siblings they're pretty loud and their room is right next to mine <laughs> as you could probably hear you just heard them right now and they're pretty loud so if you hear them in the background kind of just ignore it i guess <laughs> anyways the next question is what are your opinions on campers and teamers um Campers, honestly, you usually only camp if you're like new to the game, you don't really know how it works and you're just kind of like scared. So it's not that bad, it just gets annoying when they won't leave the gun because, you know, you're trying to play the game and stuff. But they are not that bad, you know, once you get better at the game, you hopefully stop camping and everything's all good again. But, um, my opinion on teamers, on the other hand, I, like... I really don't like teamers, they, it depends mainly on what kind of teamer you are though really, because if you're the type of teamer that just like, you spare your friend but you don't camp the gun until they get it, and if they do get the gun you like, kill them or something, that kind of teaming, it isn't as bad, it still gets annoying at times though, that's the teaming that I, I used to team like that until I stopped teaming, but the other type of teamers where like, they camp the gun, and they don't even want to be one, they just kind of chill, like, well, it's not a vibe game, it's MM2, just play the game. <laughs> it's really annoying when you team, and especially that kind of teaming. But that is my opinion on teamers and campers. Next question, is, what or who inspired you to do YouTube? Um, I know Cheeky Feeks was a big role in inspiring me to do YouTube because he is a mobile player and I thought I always thought like if I did mobile gameplay because I barely ever play on PC um I don't like playing on PC and I mainly play mobile I thought like you know maybe I wouldn't do good because it's mobile and people don't really like that but YouTube um Cheeky Feeks he really gave me like an inspiration for that because he's a really good YouTuber and he's a mobile player so he played a big part in that. I know JD inspired me a lot too because they're like really big MM2 YouTubers. They're really cool. Um, those are like the two main people. I know people who like do MM2 funny moments and stuff. 
those are like the type of videos I tried to go for at first, but now I really like trying to just like, I really like doing gameplay videos. That's, I enjoy that a lot. So I kind of just do that mainly. Um, but yeah, those are my main people who inspired me. Next question is your nationality. I am Native American and white. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm mainly white, I also, but I also have kind of like a big percentage of Native American in me. My mom and my dad and my, like all my grandparents, they're all, they're all Native American, but um, it's just a mixture between those two. And yeah, next question is, what is your favorite color? My favorite color, I don't really have a main favorite color. I like a lot, so I can't really choose a favorite one. I really like the color red and pink, um, but I also really like purple and black. Um, I'd have to say those are like the main colors I like, but it really, when it comes to purple and pink, it really depends on the type of purple or pink, but red and black, they're kind of like my main favorites, and then purple and pink are like the next, but yeah. The next question is, why are you low-key a queen? Hmm. I don't know, I just, I just am, I'm just really cool, I'm a queen. <laughs> Next question. So the audio of this part um, was like out for a few seconds, so I'm just kind of re-saying the question. Do do? Anyways, I'll yeah. do it. <laughs> and then two funny moments and stuff, they really inspired me a lot. My favorite color, like I said before, um, the red, purple, black, and pink are my main favorite colors. I kind of can't choose between those because I love them all. Um, do I have any siblings? Um, yeah, I have a lot of siblings. So you can probably hear them, like half of this video, you'll probably hear them in the background of the video because they're super loud and they're super close to my room. And I have two older siblings that are my full blood siblings they're my two older sisters and they're my full ones and then i have i have five <laughs> no yeah no six six younger siblings <laughs> very sorry for getting that mixed up um i have two younger brothers that are really close in age they're my half siblings and then two younger sisters that are also really close in age that are half siblings and then i have a baby brother who is my half sibling as well and then my mom is pregnant right now with another baby boy and they're all half siblings but i still count them as full siblings because you know they're still siblings but next question is do you have any pets um i do i have a dog he i got him not that long ago he's still he's still kind of a puppy um he's very adorable this is a i'll show you a video right now on the screen this is him um as you can see he's very very cute still kind of a puppy but he i think he's about like i don't know how old he is i just know he's still pretty young but um yeah next question so the next one is what is your dream knife or gun in mm2 i I think this is a pretty popular answer, but it has to definitely be any of like the, um, you know, Christmas or Halloween events, any of those like prize winners or anything for getting on like the top of the leaderboard. And then also, of course, Nick Scythe, that classic wish list item. But yeah, those, I probably have to say any of those items would definitely be my dream to have in my inventory next question what's your favorite knife you own i probably would have to either say elderwood scythe or blossom or maybe even jd jd just looks really cool but i also corrupt i i have a lot of favorites i probably can't choose between them all but those are the main ones. If I had to choose a favorite, it would probably be Corrupt. Um, I just, I love it. It's unique and it looks really cool. And whenever I wear it, I just kind of feel pretty cool with it every single time I'm wearing it. So, yeah. Next question is, what is your real name? Um, my real name is Lillian. 
um i prefer to be called lillian because i know like some people shorten it up to like lily or something but i just feel like lily doesn't really fit me um so i prefer to be called lillian if you're ever to call me by my name but if you don't i usually just get called like core or like e or ei um if you were to call me like by my username it's mainly core but if you were to call me by my real name i'd it would be lillian okay next question is what is your favorite map um my favorite map it really depends on the type of role that i'm in um if i'm innocent i'd my favorite map would probably be the research facility because there's just a lot of hiding spots and it's really easy to survive when you're innocent there if i were to be sheriff though it would probably be any of like the office map any of those two um the just the narrow hallway makes the easy the shots really easy but if i were murder i'd probably prefer like e any of the house maps um they're definitely a favorite for when i'm murdered it just makes it like a lot easier i guess but um yeah the next question is what is your favorite godly like i said before well actually no because i don't know if any of those were godly those were all scythe and then yeah, so my favorite godly, um, they'd probably be Chroma Gemstone or just Gemstone. I think those, that godly is just really pretty and especially the Chroma one, it just makes it look a lot cooler and it's probably my favorite godly. Not weapon, but definitely my favorite godly. So yeah. When did I start playing him too? Um, like I said in the other question, um, I started playing um like a month or two after i made my account um which was in may last year so i'm getting pretty close to having a year on this account which is the longest i've ever kept an account on roblox um but yeah um about maybe june or july of 2020 I started playing mm2 and i reached level x100 in like either september or october of 2020 so I felt like that was pretty fast. Um, I was pretty proud because I played it so much. Um, I was, I'm still addicted to it. I still play it all the time, every day, all day, every day. But yeah, that's when I started playing and when I reached max level. So next question is, do you play any other games? Can't be MM2. Um, I, other than MM2, I know I play ragdoll um but i kind of only play that game to make friends but i never do end up making friends um i also play arsenal a lot i had i recently had a the hood phase i played the hood so much um i think i overplayed it though because it got really boring really quickly um so i don't really play that as much anymore i also play natural disasters a lot um, sometimes I'll play Bloxburg, but I mainly only play that when I just get in, like, a random mood to, um, build a house. But MM2 is the main game that I play, and that's the main game you'll see me in. Um, yeah, next question is, what is your nationality? Like I said before, I am Native American and white. Um, Native American and American. Um, yeah, next, next question is do you add your fans um this is a question that i have to kind of address a lot especially in game um i cannot add um you guys like when you join and you ask if i can add you i feel so bad saying no but it's really just unfair to everyone else who asked because you can only have 200 friends um so it'd be unfair to everyone else and then that kind of just start like I don't know, I don't really want to say drama because, you know, that it wouldn't be that bad, but um, it would really make a lot of people upset if I did only add those people because probably a lot of people would think I'm choosing favorites or something like that, so I really only add people if I, like, know them or if I really trust them, like, if I've been in-game with them for a while, we've been playing together for a while, and they just give, like, good vibe off to them then i'll probably add them but in general i just don't really add people um that's why i don't have a lot of friends on roblox so yeah that is also why i um have my joints on followers because
because I feel bad that I can't friend all of you guys, but I still want you guys to join because I love meeting you guys, it always makes me so happy. Um, so I always keep my joins on most of the time, sometimes I turn them off when I'm trying to do something like personal or like if I'm just like in the mood for playing alone, but most of the time I'll have my joins on so that you guys don't have to friend me, you can still join me whenever you want. So, this next question, when did you start getting into trading limiteds on Roblox? I always love this topic so much because, I don't know, like, something about trading limiteds on Roblox, I always, like, makes me super excited because it's so fun to do. I really love doing that, um, but, um, I know, I don't really know the exact date of when I really got into trading. I know I started first trading because around, like, in December, um, in January, that's when I first started trading because for the longest time, I did not know that you had to have premium to trade, even though I watched um, multiple YouTube videos and they were all like, you have to have premium to trade. I don't know why, I just never got that in mind that I needed to get premium until I finally did and then I could trade. I was super excited about that. Um, I know towards like July and August is when I first found out what trading limiteds in Roblox was and I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos on how to trade, how to be good at trading and all that kind of stuff and then I started trading in around December and January um, of last year, 2020, and I've just been trading ever since then and it's super fun, I love trading, I love talking about trading too, so if you ever ask me a question about that stuff then uh, I'll always be glad to answer because... I don't know, I just find it super fun. Next question, do you film on tablet or phone? I film on my phone. I I don't have a tablet, um, but I know I have played on one before a long time ago and I, it was really hard for me. I did not like it at all, I kept dying. I was just a big noob playing on tablet, so I usually play on my phone. I'll play on PC sometimes, but barely ever, maybe like once or twice a month I'll play on PC, but mainly I play on my phone and I record on my phone. I just, I do all of this stuff on my phone, so if you were wondering, that's what, it's kind of what I do. Next person, first question, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> no, I do not have, do not, sorry, I pronounced that a little bit weird. I do not have a boyfriend. I. I don't have a boyfriend, I don't have a girlfriend, um, I do not have a, like, partner at all, uh, I'm single, um, but yeah. What is your name and how old are you? Like, again, Lillian, and I'm 14, turned 15 in September, um, how many subscribers will you, uh, <laughs> hold on, I had a bit of trouble reading that for a second, I understand though. Um, so, I have not thought about this a lot. Um, I recently started thinking about this because I realized like I'm a I'm growing like I'm actually getting big and like this might actually be something I'm gonna do in the future. Um, I thought about it a little bit. I kind of like came up with the idea probably around it maybe like I know I'll probably do the highest is gonna be like probably like if I ever get to 100k. Um, I would probably definitely already have done a face reveal by then. I might do it if I ever reach 50k. That's kind of like the main plan of a face reveal for me. Um, because it's not that big of a deal for me, but at the same time, it kind of is. So, yeah, next question. Next question is, what made you make YouTube a YouTube channel? Um, I've always like ever since i was young i've always watched youtube i've always watched like gamers on youtube i've always wanted to be one it's always been like a huge dream of mine to be um a gaming youtuber i've always like or just any type of youtuber it's always been like a huge dream of mine and um so i like one day i was like you know i've always wanted to do it so bad i might as well like just give it a try um, and it worked out for me. I really loved doing it. I really loved making the videos. I loved uploading them. I love just getting you guys' comments and everything. I just love everything about it. And, um, that is definitely going to be a big thing in my life is YouTube because I've, it's just a really big dream of mine. I just, I love it a lot. So, um, yeah. So I know this is not a question, but it's something that I really want to 
touch on um the these type of question this like not questions these type of things they always annoy me so much because i i I trade limited on roblox if i'm hold on i'll put a few screenshots of all the trades that i've done so far with super super happy face um i don't have all these limiteds it's just me trading all of them and it just makes it look like i have a lot but it's really just different clips of like different limiteds that i've been trading for um i do not scam for them i trade them and i know in a few of them i did um i did op a lot but i really like beast mode and i really like audrey king of the night um so i don't really care that i op'd on those because those are really cool items to me and i'm really happy that i got them um but yeah what is your level my level is the max level level x 100 a thousand whatever you want to call it the highest level in the game um like i said before um i reached level x 100 around uh like i'm I'm probably gonna say like around october or september i reached max level but yeah um i just that's what level i'm on now um i don't think i don't think level your level can change after that so yeah next question how did you get your godlies and was it easy and what would you say to someone who's trying to get one um i I know my first ever godly I got was from Unboxing. I unboxed a gemstone. Um, I actually took a screenshot right here. I, I was shaking. I was in shock when I opened it. Um, it was my first ever godly. I was super excited. Um, then I started trading, and um, I also I went through like a small like a phase where I bought a whole, whole bunch of godlies for Robux and stuff. Um, I don't recommend doing that though because if you want to like trade and you don't want to buy your godlies and you just do it's not going to help you get better at trading or like any of that type of stuff if you're just buying them in MM2 so I just recommend like you can if you want to but honestly I just think it would be better personally from because I used to buy a whole bunch of godlies and I just gave them away all the time, so if you trade for them, you value them a lot more, and it's just, you get better at trading in general, um, but yeah. And what I would say to someone who's trying to get one is just try to look, go on like MM2 values or Supreme values, whatever you use, um, try to make good trades, not scamming, but good trades, um, unbox a lot, that is another good way to get a godly i know it's pretty rare but um trading and unboxing is one of the best i think the best ways to get a godly other than buying it but buying is just like the easy way out of it but yeah last question is what thing that motivated you to make youtube videos um i think the thing that motivated me was just my love for like youtubers and always wanting to be a youtuber and how much i love mm2 and how much i love making videos honestly is one of the best parts about youtube is making them i love making videos and i love seeing everyone's amazing comments um that's definitely something that keeps me motivated for sure um and the thing that made me like motivated to start youtube was definitely i don't know if you heard that but there's a really loud car that just drove by my house um but definitely cheeky feeks because he's a mobile player and he just kind of inspired me to be like you know a mobile player because i know people usually just like the pc people playing on pc and those are the mainly the videos that get views and stuff <laughs> Those were motorcycles that just drove by the house, my house, um, sorry about that, but, um, yeah, Cheeky Feeks definitely gave me inspiration and motivation to be a mobile YouTuber for MM2, because I know, like, that's, it's a lot harder when you're mobile because people prefer to watch, like, PC and stuff like that, and I probably will make PC videos. I have recorded me being on PC, but I cannot edit. I've tried editing on computer. On my computer, it did not work out at all. I had no idea what I was doing and I couldn't figure it out. But I also don't know how to get the 
recording from my computer onto my phone so I could edit it on my phone so the gameplay on my PC is kind of just chilling out on my PC so yeah but that is the last question for this Q&A um I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys learned like a few things that you've wanted to know about me um I hope you guys have an amazing day and also tell me if you want like more videos with my voice because honestly this is kind of fun like with my voice instead of it just being silent so uh tell me if you guys want them so other than that bye everyone thank you again so much for 5k i love you all so much i'm so thankful and i just hope you all have an amazing day and you stay safe and you're loved especially by me i love you guys so much um and yeah bye everyone <laughs>